So what we have here is um, an old tube amplifier. Now, this is a technology from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. It's been supplanted by semiconductors in modern days. However, guitar amplifiers still rely on the same technology as this. Uh, the Marshall stacks of the big rock bands still use the same intrinsic vacuum tube and transformer technology as we'd find in this. So this is actually a pretty good example of what we'd like to show you. So I'm just going to pull the back off here. Now inside we have a bunch of different components here. Uh, each one of these glass envelopes, and these are actually metal, these are vacuum tubes and they used to be what people would use to amplify electrical signals back before the advent of the transistor. Now this device uses quite a lot of iron in it. You see that there are actually three transformers. The biggest one here being the power transformer. This is going to take the 120 volts main current and step it down for all of the filaments which heat up the tubes which allow them to operate and also step up the voltage to a couple hundred volts in order to drive the actual amplifying circuitry. Now, since the circuit operates at hundreds of volts of potential, we can't directly hook that up to a speaker, which only requires uh, a few tens of volts. So these transformers here are used to take the signal from the, um, from the high voltage, uh, high impedance tube circuitry and step it down to a more reasonable voltage. And it uses... Um, the uh, principles of induction to do this uh, impedance matching and voltage transformation. And this is, the, this is the same similar topology that you'd see in a lot of modern guitar amplifiers today.